Hello. Well, today I uh, <clears throat> like to say how, uh, as of May 1st, uh, the state I am in, Iowa, uh, you know, America, uh, has been reopened. You know, certain things have been slowly reopening, certain more of, uh, more other important businesses that were not seen to be open during the whole quarantine phase of complete lockdown outside like certain stores, um, you know, certain restaurants were also open, like uh, you can go and pick up and carry out all that stuff, uh, but now things are starting to reopen here. Um, I know in other states, not so much. In other parts of the world, not so much. Uh, of course, uh, I'm American, so I'm primarily looking as to what's going on in America and what's happening. I don't watch the news too much because, well, during stuff like this, uh, the media kind of freaks out and makes everything sound as if it is way worse than it really is. Of course... This is a serious thing to <clears throat> be on the alert about and to know about and learn how to make sure if you have to go out, you're safe. Uh, and if you are, uh, you know, and uh, as to if you're going to be in contact with people, like how far away you should be and all of this and that. Um, so, you know... There is that, uh, which people are basically doing since all that has begun. Um, and I'll just say that I'm, uh, I'm happy that Iowa is beginning to reopen and get back to normal slowly. Um, I think it'll be good for people to start a, you know, basically get back to work or be out of the house more, just be able to just do things instead of just being cooped up in their house all day, you know. At most, maybe some people get to, if they have a porch, they can go out on the porch, and that's really it. Go out on the porch, be in the sun a little bit, uh, since it's sunnier now here, um, and just, yeah, you're able to do more. Um, but of course, I know, uh, What's happening uh, elsewhere in the world is different. Um, I uh, some people in the comments uh, on my videos uh, do talk about what's going on wherever they are in a different country or a different state. Uh, I talk to some people on my friends with uh, they're on Facebook and or other parts of the world. Uh, or on Instagram, you know, direct messaging and stuff. So I've heard enough about, just enough to have a decent idea of what's happening for certain people in different parts of the world. Of course, what's happening with them could be different from somebody else in those countries. But then again, it depends on where one is in those countries. You know, where I am in this country in America is different from somewhere else, you know. California is vastly different. Florida's situation is going to be quite different, too. Texas, New York, uh, Michigan, uh, you know, uh, just I could be naming all the states, but, you know, not every state is the same. Governors are really dictating, or I don't know if that sounds right, but maybe it does in some circumstances, but they're really trying to make sure the people of their states are safe. They don't want people to have to go out if they think that they shouldn't. But, you know, at this point, I think people are very cautious and they're very aware of what's going on. You know, if somebody is sick, or if they are sick, they're not going to be associating with people. Or they're not going to be associating with that person that's sick. You know, you're going to... And if you have to see them, or if you want to, people wear masks, and people... Uh, well, well, they will just see what they can do if they're able to see somebody. So, you know, 
there is that. People are have been taking precautions during all of this. You know, I remember going out to the store, having a well, face mask of my own, and just you know getting things and being as far away from people as I possibly can be, reasonably. Um, well, then again, that's sort of how I <laughs> do things anyway, normally out and about getting things. So it's kind of a no real difference for me. Uh, but for some of those people, you know, it might be a bit more different, you know. Some people are, I guess, in certain circumstances, a bit used to being more crowded, so it might be a new feeling, a new, just different. Um, America, I know, uh, there have been treatments given to people, um, mostly positive results, you know. And um, the media, uh, I mean, I do watch them, but I, I don't really tend to watch them too long uh, outside of, like just the weather because again, they make things like this a lot worse than they really are. Again, this is a very situ serious situation, but I remember once uh, on one of these news stations locally. Some guy I'd never seen or heard of before or since came on and was basically saying, oh, within two weeks, everybody will die. And I'm like, what? What, what kind of... That was, he didn't say that out loud, but from what you what he was saying, to summarize, that was it. That was the summary of what I could give you. It was like, soon we're all going to die. And it's like, what? What kind of... Who let you on? Who... Who turned the camera on where you were and gave you a mic to, uh, to where? Did you just sneak on and just uh, somehow get on the air with people not noticing? I don't know. That was just that was a weird thing. And thankfully, we've never seen that guy again. Um, at least I haven't. Uh, maybe he has shown up again, but it's not when I've been watching the news, the local news at least. Um, but yeah, that was just kind of like a, what? You're helping nothing. All you're doing is gonna create panic for certain people, you know? And and also with numbers here in the state, like, here's that. They announce how many people have had, you know, who have, who have the, the virus, how many people have died, you know? And the people who've died, I've noticed, have always been smaller. That number has always been smaller, here at least. Um, people who have had it a bit larger, you know. But then they have the third of people who have recovered. It's a lot bigger. It's always been bigger. But they never announce it. It's just on the screen, so... Uh, hope you're not blind, because if... If you are, well, you're never going to hear the positive. In terms of what's positive is most people have not passed away from this. Um, there have been people who, you know, have passed away. I personally don't know anybody who has died. Um, I, As far as I know, my fa family and friends are all safe and good. Um... So that's good to know. Um, but I know not everybody is that fortunate. You know, some people, some friends of theirs have passed away. Some family members of them, theirs have passed away from all of this. Um, or somebody that they, like a friend of somebody somebody knows, passed away. Uh, so they might not necessarily know somebody directly, but they themselves know who of somebody that has died, and that's just not, that's not good, obviously, but, um, the situation here in America is obviously different, um, other parts of the world are worse, um, other parts, uh, you know, I'm sure are as good as America, um, I don't know how as good as they're doing compared to America, you know, don't know if they're doing better, not know if they're doing worse. Don't hear too much about that, except, you know, 
uh, YouTube channels of people talking about what's happening there. Outside of that, I, I don't know. You know, I, if they don't really have like a sort of continuous, continual talking about it, you know, I, I'm not sure so up to date. Um, but from those I've talked to, you know, they're all fine, um, which is good. Uh, but, you know, it's, it sucks. It does suck. It's unfortunate that this has happened. But it has. Um, and for the state, I do, again, think it's a good thing. Um, of course, though, there are going to be some people who are going to be a bit crazy because finally I get to go out. I finally get to do I get to do something more than just have to go and get things from the store. You know, that kind of, with that kind of announcement, there's going to be a bit crazy people out and about. But, you know, for the most part, a lot of people are quite sane in their as sane as they can be during all this and just trying to get back into a more normal routine again get back into how things were and um yeah so for where i am things are fine but i know everyone uh, isn't always so fortunate uh, other places in the world are worse in the situation that i'm in um so while i'm thankful i don't want to you know ignore other places around the world because it's like you know not everything is great elsewhere you know it's uh, I'm very fortunate to be where I am um, I do wish other people were as fortunate as I am where I live and have a situation where things can begin to reopen in stages and things can slowly get back to normal I really do I really uh, hope for the best of that, but we we will see what will happen. Uh, maybe in the coming weeks, something in the UK or somewhere in Japan, uh, uh, Australia, Africa, you know, Canada. I don't know, uh, Mexico, other places, Brazil. Stuff might be said about what can happen, what can be talked about. You know, those are just some places uh, that I've just been thinking of. Like, just heard some stuff about, uh, you know, in Italy, too. You know, I know some people in Italy. Um, I hope for the best for everybody there. Um, you know, thoughts, prayers, all that good stuff. Out to everybody. I hope the best for you all. I know... Perhaps somebody who's watching this might not, uh, you know, not be in the best situation. But, you know, I hope the best for everybody, you know. I, I, I wish everything could be fine, but that's, you know, that's not how things are. This is something that's uh, quite new and trying to figure out what's the best way of handling it. Some said that the whole lockdown thing was a bit much that we didn't need to happen, but you know, it's one of those things like I guess better safe than sorry. Um, and maybe if a lockdown didn't happen, you know, would things, uh, you know, uh, be better? Would things, uh, uh, been the same? I don't know, but uh, I understand why. This did happen, even if it is very unfortunate to a lot of people. You know, a lot of people might lose their jobs. People might have to, uh, you know, be on unemployment for a while. Uh, it's just, it's a situation that just stinks. Um, I hope for the best for everybody soon. You know, not just in America, but... Worldwide, uh, yeah, I want everything to basically go back to normal, or at least as as much of normal that there can be after something like this. Because you know what was once normal may not be normal again. You know, that might be might try to get back to some sort of normal, but just 
isn't just gonna it isn't really gonna happen unfortunately for some people um it's gonna take them up take a while take them and just everybody a while for things to seem right again once things start to get back on track worldwide um so yeah i hope uh you're all doing well hope you're uh, you stay safe, you're healthy, and all that. I hope the best for all of you watching. Um, I uh, wish I could do more than just make this video and say all this, but where I am and what I'm able to do is, you know, this is really as much as I can at this moment in time, so, but... I uh, I do want, hope uh, for that. I hope the best for everybody, um, be you in the United States or elsewhere in the world. Um, just stay safe and uh, be positive. Really, that's the best thing you can do. Just be positive. Don't be so, don't think a whole lot of negative things. I know that might be hard for some right now. Um, but, you know, just do your best to be positive, and, you know, once this is over, this passes us all, uh, you know, you know, we can just all remember how, just remember how to get back to things, get back to normal. That makes sense. I don't know. I'm, I think I'm rambling right now. It's not a good thing for this kind of video. I apologize for that. But, uh, yeah. Hope you all will take care and you'll just stay safe. Hope you all have a good day. A good rest of your week. A good weekend. Actually, hope it's all great. And I'll see you all next time.